we do have another question that fits well with your background. Are there any early indications of the Africa priorities for the Trump administration? Well, uh, the Trump administration has not said much specific about Africa that I that I have heard. I've listened to the uh, to the campaign speeches and since uh, President Trump has entered office, but we have to see what they say about foreign policy in general. They've said that, well, uh, President Trump has used the term America first, and he said that trade relationships tend to be unfair. The United States gives more than it gets. And of course, they'll be looking at every continent now to say, well, what are we getting in our trade relationships? They're looking at China very carefully, for example. They're looking at Mexico. But when they look at Africa, they're going to look at this uh, special legislation that President uh, Clinton signed called the Africa Growth and Opportunity Act, which my colleague uh, Flory Lazier has worked on for so many years and is such an expert on. Uh, that is, they will look at it and say, wow, that's a one-way street. The Africans get all the privileges. They can send their products to the United States duty-free. And when I, we send our products to Africa, they have to pay duty. So they're going to look at that and say, is that fair? So, so the Africans should be alert that this is coming up on the agenda for U.S.-Africa uh, relationships. Of course, there are other issues, uh, U.S.-Africa there's a, a major terrorist problem in Africa. In northern Nigeria, you have the Boko Haram. In Somalia, you have El Shabaab terrorism. Uh, so uh, the United States, of course, uh, President Trump says we're really going to hone in on the on the terrorism problem. So I'm sure the U.S., which gives a lot of help to Africa now on fighting terrorism, I think they're going to be going to enhance that. Can I also just add, add uh, one, one point that um, we've heard is that, um, and, and again, we haven't heard a whole lot, but um, on occasion uh, some have said that the focus with Africa of the new administration will be on uh, peace and security and counterterrorism. Um, and I guess the, the point I would make quickly is that uh, the Corporate Council on Africa and its members um, uh, have a stake in the economic relationship with those countries. Um, uh, our business engagement, the joint ventures, uh, trade, investment, many U.S. companies actually are reliant on um, their, their business uh, uh, in Africa as a major part of their, their corporate growth. So um, from, from, from our perspective, we also think that there is a link between um, the issues that the administration may focus on, like uh, peace and security, and the issues that we are focused on, which is the economic development and um, uh, uh, sort of a win-win environment for businesses both here and in Africa. If there, if, if there is more uh, development on the continent, if economies are growing, if jobs are being created, if youth are being employed, um, then the chances are better of addressing um, issues like peace, um, uh, reducing areas of conflict, and uh, preventing uh, terrorism instead of having to counter it. 